Ride this baby to victory. Go, go, go. <laughs> a little bit. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Bubbling. I'm going to kind of hide until that bubbler runs out, and then maybe I can stop these guys. There we go. There we are. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adam A.K. Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon. We're gonna start things off with the big news from recently. Last weekend, there was another Squid Sisters live concert, and we finally got the announcement we were waiting for. Callie and Marie Amiibos are coming this summer in July, along with three other Amiibos that no one was really expecting. Now, I'm a little torn on these because they look great, for one, but they don't really unlock anything that significant. Callie and Marie will unlock a night version of Inkopolis Plaza, kind of like the Splatfest, and they'll perform their song and dance routine. They each have a new solo number as well that debuted during that concert, and there'll be a link in the description if you want to watch that. Nintendo posted it. But for the most part, no new gameplay is released with these amiibo. They're mostly just, you know, for display and to watch them do their songs. They look great, but on the other hand, I was I was kind of hoping for an Agent 1 and 2 revival, single player sort of thing, but maybe in the sequel. Now, three other amiibo were announced as well that I don't think anyone saw coming. They've recolored the original three Splatoon amiibo, so we're getting an orange squid, a green inkling girl, and a purple inkling boy. They have new gear and equipment, like the Tentatech splatter shot and different shoes and clothes and stuff, but they'll probably unlock the same stuff as the other amiibo. So nothing too new, but it's nice that we've got some new designs out there to pick up if you want them. So let's get into some matches. All right, I'm gonna warm up with the old new Bamboozler. It looks old, but it's new. The Bamboozler Mark III. I always forget the 14. I don't know what it is about this weapon that I'm drawn to. Maybe it's just the design and the quick shots of it, but even though I, uh, I'm i not really that great with it, I, I really like using it and I wanna get better. I think it's just the devotion to wanting to get better with it has made me really wanna keep playing and practicing. So I've got a ton of these matches recorded and eventually I'll get them all out to you guys, but as we go, oh jeez, hopefully I'll have enough practice with this to do well in the Splatfest and everything here, but I've got so many recorded that they'll uh, they'll take a little bit to get out. We're in tower control. I don't think this is a very good game mode for this weapon. I, I kind of feel like Splat Zones works a little bit better because you can be kind of defensive, but this game mode is a little, a little tougher to to aim on the tower with this thin little, whoa, beam, jeez. <laughs> Especially when a hero roller pops out of nowhere and gets me, and then he's just gone, he doesn't even care. He's splatting everybody, so I don't feel too bad. But yeah, the, the tower is a little tough to, uh, to aim on. I think the other chargers are more useful in tower control, honestly, because the E-leader can take out like multiple inklings and hit through the, uh, the center little area and stuff. I kind of thought someone was down there because, yeah, there's ink all over the place. They got a charger somewhere here, shooting waves of ink all the way up onto our platform. Okay, probably an E-leader because we got a Kraken. Got to be careful next to the edge there because I've gotten splatted by a Kraken even though I was not over the edge and there's that guard there still. It's a risk. This is such a tough spot to get by and they're getting the tower. Got to try to push in and, uh, and see where it's headed. It's passing their line. All right. Oh, here he comes. Get him, get him, get him. There we go. All right. Okay. So, oh, no. <laughs> I saw someone jumping in, and I, I totally whiffed that by walking into the killer whale. I thought it was fine, and I should have gotten that super jumper. But we at least took down the roller. We got a little bit of re revenge there. All right. But, uh, but yeah, I think this is probably one of the weaker chargers to use on tower control. But I know, you know, there's got to be people out there that are really good with it, that can make it work no matter the map and the game mode. All right, we're kind of... <laughs> yeah, I'm getting outmatched by some of these guys. Look how fast they're... Uh, yeah, they've got a Splire Shot Pro plus all that damage up. Took me out in no time, as well as my buddy there. Struggling to get warmed up here a little bit, but once we do, I'll hopefully do better. <laughs> Bad super jump there. Oh, I didn't even get taken out by the roller. It was the fresh squiffer. There's that another one of the new weapons in display. I, I've mentioned before, I do think the fresh squiffer should be what I practice with if I want to get better with the charger because it's a nice little middle ground. But at the same time, I like the bamboozler's look. There we go. That was another one of those splats where did someone help me? Because it looked like I took him out, but I didn't get the get the credit for it. It's not about the credit, it's about the wins. Oh, jeez, no. <laughs> That roller is giving me so much trouble. Their fancy amiibo roller. We'll uh, come back and get our revenge, though. We 
we're, we're doing okay. Well, they're just kind of stuck in the middle there. We gotta take it here. We're running out of time. I'll try my way around here again, but there's such a sitting duck in this little spot. If someone wants to jump over the edge, I'm just... see someone on the tower. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is a rough spot. We got chargers on the sides, making sure I can't just step out, and then if someone kind of jumps over the edge, I won't be able to see them coming until too late. They've got a splat charger, and I think they might have an e-leader. It's hard to tell, because I did see a kraken going around where, where all that, uh, all the crazy long splat shots were going. Man, yeah, this is a little, this is not a great map for me, at least. And, uh, kind of rough with the bamboozler. I think we'll we'll do a little better on the other map that's in the rotation right now, Bluefin Depot. Okay, I, I'm, oh, man. <laughs> this roller, I can't pronounce his name, but I'll remember his little face. I'm gonna get him. Uh, the bamboozler I mentioned before, I'm kind of tempted where if I get enough sea snails and, and cash saved up, I might try to get a crazy damage set. One of the better ways to get the gear that you want is to find someone who has it and then just, you know, get Spike to order it for you, and if you wait long enough, you can get all the abilities on it, which I didn't realize at first. I always thought it was random, but you just wait long enough and Spike will pretty much unlock all the abilities for you that they have. So if you really... <laughs> Sprinkler landed right on me. So if you really want to get a, uh, a piece of gear and someone else already has it, there we go, got him. Uh, then it, it's not as hard as it seems. But I think trying to get a crazy amount of damage up is a little bit of a waste when I could be using other chargers, but at the same time, I really want to see how the bamboozler plays with enough damage up to basically get a one-hit splat. Uh-oh, we don't have much time here. I just ink strike. Can we get to the tower in time? Go, go, go. They got a charger on us. This is going to be impossible. Okay, somebody got it. I'm going to try to keep this clean. Go, go, go. The charger is choking. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> All right. I didn't play that well. I got a, at least one splat. A few of them I think I helped, but we won. And I helped. I helped by jumping on the tower at the last moment and got a little bit of credit there, but we warmed up. I think we'll do better next time. All right, yeah, we got splatted so many times. I think most of those are by that hero roller, like half his splats. Okay, let's uh, let's try again. All right, one more on Arowana at least, and then uh, hopefully we'll jump into the other map because this one is a little rough. I've got my run speed up, though, which I do think on my t-shirt, the little striped rugby shirt, I do think benefits this set. And then, you know, after after I finish up these, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna give the bamboozler a break for a while. If I do end up getting enough uh, damage up to really make it a different, you know, experience for me to see how it would do with, with a ton of damage up, then maybe I'll use it again. Whoa, nope. There we go. Oh, jeez, okay. Well, <laughs> I didn't think I would get out of there. Hit him with a couple burst bombs and got that one little charge. Worked out okay. I should really be just doing the charges and the double tap. That's the way that you gotta do it. All right, clearing the way here. We got another roller to deal with, the carbon. I, I need to go back to the carbon roller. I'm almost expecting that might be what we're gonna get in the, uh, in the volume two of Sheldon's weapons, another carbon roller or maybe a, uh, a splat roller. I think the splat roller, there's there's quite a few of it, but that didn't stop them from adding the wasabi splatter shot, even though we have a ton of different splatter shot variations. Uh-oh, uh-oh, get out of there. There we go, okay. They're coming through. No one's on here, okay. Who's just coming back? Sometimes I get a little scared if I don't look up and see if, uh, oh, jeez. <laughs> If the tower is occupied, it can sometimes look like it is, but just gotta check that little meter in the center at the top of the screen. I don't do that enough. It, it's hard to look up when you're in the midst of battle, but I need to pay better attention to how many squids are alive and how that stuff's all going. There we go. All right. Now, uh, yeah, no one's on the tower because you can tell by the by the little anchor in the center. I'm gonna try to keep this clear though. This is where they're gonna be coming after us. All right. Someone's gotta get on there though. <laughs> I thought that guy was gonna do it. It looks like it might be up to me. Someone's coming in. Hit him with the burst bombs. There we go. They got him with the splat bomb. I didn't even need to help. That's that's how I feel with the bamboozler all the time. It's like, I'm trying my best to help, but I think my teammates are getting most of the splats and stuff on their own without needing me. Oh, here they come. Oh, jeez. Fall back a little bit and try to stop them. Hey, don't you forget about me. Ah. <laughs> Yeah, too fast. That splash matic with all those buffs is, uh, is a little rough to deal with. All right, we've been getting some splats, though, and we got a lead. We can do it. They got the tower, though. Come on. 
I didn't find anyone I wanted to super jump to. Most of my buddies are dead. So we're gonna just make our way back through. Get a little bit of turf. I also think this this is the ideal bamboozler set. For me, at least. It feels like the definitive one, but at the same time, whoa! It would be nice to have the he the special depletion not so bad. There we go. All right, jeez. Had to run like crazy to get away from that roller, but it worked out in the end. Get out of here. Somebody's jumping. All right, let me see if I can get up. Oh, they got him. All right, we're good. Man, they keep jumping in. There's, uh, there's some quick super jumpers. There we go. Get him, get him, get him. Ah, that roller. They're back. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> they couldn't get him that time. So fast. They do have a little defense up, so that could be stopping some of that. And they've got an Inkzuka. No, no, no. We were in the lead. And we're going to lose it here if we're not careful. They're getting up to the threshold. Go, go, go. They're carrying the tower across the threshold like a blushing bride. <laughs> see if we can stop them here. Oh, there's that roller. No, 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 no. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Oh, not good. Not good. Oh, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Eight squids on the tower, and it's just chaos. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm stuck underneath. Stop it. Ah, knocked out. I got some good splats in there, so I'm going to keep this, even though that was <laughs> kind of a humiliating defeat. I think we're going to switch maps, though, and we'll see how we do on Bluefin. Arowana having a tough time. We're getting more, we're getting more splats, though. It's just a matter of getting the tower there. All right. Okay, we're on Bluefin now. I think this will work out a little bit better, at least, for this weapon. But we'll have to see. We got a samurai buddy on our side. Got a lot of weapons to look out for, though. They've got a sweet team variety over there. I was, uh, I was actually, it, it's weird. We're coming up on the anniversary of Splatoon. The end of May is gonna be when the game is a year old. And I'm really expecting, since uh, Volume 2 is on the way sometime. They said summer, I think. But uh, but I could I could see Volume Two of Sheldon's Picks coming out when the year anniversary happens, or at least something special happening. Uh, but it would be cool to uh, be cool to have something like a splat fest or something happen on on that day or around that time. I'll have to check if it's actually like a weekend. But we could finally get maybe like the Kelly and Marie splat fest or the Kid versus Squid. There's a bunch of splat fest themes that seem obvious that they have not done yet, so it'd be cool to see those. But, uh, but yeah, as I was thinking about how old, you know, Splatoon's gonna turn a year old, I went back and I watched the Splatoon Direct, the original one, from early May. It's been almost a year since that happened as well, and that was the whole squid research thing, and it was crazy, and, uh, jeez. And it was, it was a weird introduction to the game. Honestly, until I played the the test fire, I wasn't really sold on Splatoon, but watching that again, it's funny, like, how much stuff they covered in that, but some things I actually had forgotten about. I saw we had a dynamo on the team, and it made me think of this because, jeez, the dynamo I had forgotten actually protects you from ink, ink fire when you're flicking it. I had completely just blanked on that quality of the dynamo. That's part of why it's such a force to be reckoned with, because it blocks ink shots, which I don't think any of the other rollers have that ability. So it's uh, it's one reason, yeah, why the dynamo is so fearsome. But there's little stuff like that that I was like, oh yeah, that was... Uh, I, I think one of the biggest weird things is as soon as, if you go back and watch that direct, as soon as it starts, it, it's on Urchin Underpass and it's the old version of Urchin. And it's like, whoa, this looks so weird now to go back to with no trees in the center. It's a lot more narrow. They they made it, you know, very funneled in the original version. So it's very, there we go. It was very tough to uh, to make your way into the center, if, especially if someone was really locking down a lot of the turf. It made it so tough to to do well and, uh, and come back from a, a defeat, you know, that was almost certain once they have locked down that area. So you can see why they retooled it. They could probably do to, rebalance a lot of the other maps in the game. Like, a lot of people have talked about Salt Spray Rig. I think just you never see uh, Tower Control and Rainmaker on that map and, and stuff like that. I think they they realize that some of them are not very well designed for certain game modes. And I could see with the... Uh, ooh, no! <laughs> that blaster again with all that power armor. I could see with a sequel or even, like, a re-release kind of, like, upgraded version of Splatoon coming out on the NX system 
them going back and, uh, and retooling, maybe they've already started retooling all these maps, and instead of putting them out, you know, now they're going to wait and have that as more content for the, uh, the reason to sell people on, a, on an updated version of Splatoon for the new system. So we'll have to see. There's a lot of rumors about enhanced versions of Smash Brothers and Splatoon and stuff coming for the new system. But, uh, but yeah, I could see them kind of holding back. They did release the Urchin revamp, but other than that, I think most of the maps have been largely the same as when they released. We had the, the recent patch, or it was the patch before last, I believe. They expanded the zones, the, the side, you know, turf area on a few of the maps, but that was just basically making Turf Wars for Moray and, and Arowana match the, the I think, uh, was it Splat Zones version? Yeah, that, that was what it was. It was one of the ranked ones, though, giving a little more area to uh, to cover, and also more, uh, oh, I think somebody got that guy. There we go. No, I don't have to worry about him. That blaster's been giving me so much trouble. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think that's something that they could do, as, long, as well as uh, the incentive of being like, here's the complete, you know, definitive version of Splatoon, and maybe it looks even better. They probably want to make it compatible with the, old, the current version to make sure you can play, no matter, you know, even if you don't have the new one. But that, at the same time, I'm, I'm a little mixed on that where it's like they couldn't add as much new. It's almost like Smash on 3DS and Wii U where they had to make them have similar content, so it, it brought down the Wii U version a little bit. But anyways, we'll never, we won't know, you know? <laughs> I was gonna say we'll never know. We won't know until we uh, get, oop, jeez, <laughs> oh no. Bad situation there, but at least I distracted half their team from the tower, and I think we took this one. There we go. Power Umber guy's just staring at the ramp, sadly. He got a lot of splats on me, but he lost the match. All right, let's uh, maybe one more here and we'll finish up wrapping up the new Bamboozler. I'm enjoying it, but I do feel like I'm still at a disadvantage using this thing. There we go, not too bad. Let's have one more match to finish. Okay, one more on Arowana. Hopefully this will go a little better now that I'm warmed up enough. But we'll finish up with the Bamboozler here and then I'll, you know, I'll start playing some other weapons. I don't know why I've just really locked onto the Bamboozler since it came out. It's not even my favorite weapon of the Sheldon's picks. I think that goes to the permanent ink rush. But at the same time, it's just fun to play, and I've always wanted to get good with it ever since it was revealed. It's it's one of those things where a weapon design can be cool enough where it makes you want to play with it, even if you don't gel with the style. I saw someone trying to blast or throw a bunch of bombs over there. Ooh, there's that dynamo. Okay, get that out. There we go. All right, I think we'll be okay here to move in a little bit. I'm always, always want to make sure I've got a little bit of ink to fall back on with this weapon because can't exactly take people out super quick. Okay, here we go. Clear the way. They're all gonna rush into that center area to try to get the tower, and I'll help push it. There we go. All right, ride this baby to victory. Go, go, go. <laughs> a little bit. Uh oh, uh oh. Bubbling gonna kind of hide until that bubbler runs out and then maybe I can stop these guys. There we go, there we are, all right. <laughs> Couple splats using the weapon. We, we use the sub, the special, and the main weapon to get splats. Can't ask for more than that, right? Okay, go, 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 go. I'm gonna try to back up a little bit. Make sure this thing is covered in, uh, in sh a frantic spray of shots to keep them off of it. I think we're good. No one seems to be going around, and we're almost through. They're all pushed back. They're, like, trying their last stand here. I'm going to ride it to the end. There we go. All right. Good way to end it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I promise I'll take a break from the bamboozler. If you want to leave a like, I appreciate that. And next time, we'll uh, maybe do, like, a, a nice little compilation of my favorite of Sheldon's picks. I'll see you guys then for some more Splatoon. Goodbye.